Covering major local news from overnight. You're watching WKBN 27 First News on Fox Youngstown Morning Edition. Happening today, the Youngstown YMCA is hosting their yearly health fair. It all starts, actually it just got underway in the last 15 minutes or so. Let's get you to First News on Fox reporter Hannah Erdman live outside the YMCA, where it looks like you moved inside. Hey Hannah. Good morning, Chelsea. Yeah, we're right now been out inside as this health fair has finally kicked off. It started at 7 a.m. There's a lot going on here this morning to come check out. I'm here with Mary. She's one of the organizers. She's going to tell us what to expect today. Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome. This is the Central YMCA, and our health fair just started this morning at 7 a.m. Um, we have flu shots going on, COVID-19 shots. We have blood pressure, cholesterol, um, sorry, blood pressure and glucose screenings, um, and along with a, um, a plethora of other vendors. So what's the importance of having an event like this to have free access of these healthcare options to the public? It's an excellent opportunity to get screened. It might catch something that you didn't know was going on, especially in the blood pressure or the glucose testing. Um, and we have some nurses that can guide you through whatever your numbers come out as. Um, so it's, it's just a great opportunity to be able to get that free screening in. And I know you also are offering the screenings and the shots, but there's also a few other vendors there if you want to explain some of them. We have Accudose Pharmacy, um, Paisley House, uh, Park Vista. We have a rehabilitation uh, rehab center um, for physical um, physical therapy, uh, and a couple different insurance vendors as well. So there's definitely going to be a lot here to check out. They're going to be open until noon today, but there are going to be more things happening this evening. If you're wanting to get vaccinated, and I'll have all those details coming up. But for now, live in Youngstown, Hannah Erdman, First News on Fox.